Now to a breaking news. Bullet casings littering the streets just steps away from Chicago Police Headquarters. Tonight, one woman is dead after a dramatic shootout. Our Charlie DeMar live at Police Headquarters to explain how it all went down. Charlie. And Erica, the shooting happened a block away from Chicago Police Headquarters. We can actually see the liquor store from where we're standing, where that shooting happened. The way witnesses describe it, they say it was a wild shootout in the middle of the street that ended with a woman caught in the crossfire. He could have hit anybody. Stevie McDuffie walked out of a nearby McDonald's and saw a security guard on the pavement shooting wildly down 35th Street near Indiana just before 4.30. The security guard, he was just laying there on the ground and just shooting down the block. He reloaded his gun and constantly kept shooting. At least 20 shell casings covered the wet ground in front of Woods Food and Liquor. Police say a security guard got into an argument with a man on the street who pulled a gun and shot the guard in the leg. The injured security guard pulled his own gun and shot back. A woman standing on the sidewalk was caught in the chaos and shot in the chest. She was 55. I did not understand how he did that. That was real. That was ridiculous. It appears the 55-year-old tried running into a nearby bank for help. Another person shot at uh, 35th and King Drive at the Chase Bank. She was taken to the hospital at the University of Chicago where she died. Did it seem reckless what he was doing? Yeah, it was real reckless. It was real reckless how he laid down that gun and reloaded his gun and kept on shooting. And as for that 34-year-old security guard, he is in good condition, expected to be okay. No word on any arrest. We are live tonight from Chicago Police Headquarters. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Thank you, Charlie.